Hey, how you doing? Last night, Texas had their bowl game. They beat Cal 21-10 to in the Hollow Bowl. It was a good win for Texas. They played really well. Um, David Ash got the start and played pretty well. Um, he uh, had the receiving touch. He had a receiving touchdown from Shipley on a reverse near the goal line. Shipley threw it to Ash, and then Ash had a uh, touchdown to Marquise Goodwin. Um, and Ash, so Ash played pretty well, um, and he didn't, he protected the ball, so it, Ash played pretty well. Um, I'm still a Case McCoy guy. I, I would, um, I would like to see him start McCoy, but um, Ash played well. Uh, Ash definitely played well. He impressed me last night. Um, so some other things from the game, uh, the running game, it really it wasn't as strong as it's been all year, but it still was. Um, the running game at, was impressive. Malcolm Brown had a pretty good game, and Cody Johnson had a touchdown run. Also on offense, Marquise Goodwin had a really nice game. Um, they tried to get him the ball a lot. He had a couple nice end rounds. Um, he had the t touchdown catch, and then he also um, had a couple nice fades down the sideline and had a couple uh, nice grabs. Um, and then the defense, uh, like they have all year, played really well. I was very impressed with the defense. Pretty much everybody in defense had a nice game. Kenny Vaccaro, Jackson Jeffco, Blake Gideon, uh, Quandry Diggs, um, Carrington Bynum, everybody had a really nice and all other guys too. Um, everybody had a nice game. Manny Diaz continues to have his defense play well. So I was impressed, definitely impressed with Texas last night. So hook em horns, it was an impressive game, 21-10. Um, and Cal's not a bad team either. Uh, they're not. They weren't too good this year, but they were seven and five um, from the Pac-12. So it was it was nice for Texas to be able to beat Cal fairly convincingly too. Um, I would say. I mean, the first half, um, both offenses weren't playing too well. Both defenses weren't. And Texas kind of, as the second half went on, kind of took control of the game. Um, I think Texas defense really set the tone, and then the offense with Ash and the running game kind of picked it up. Um, and then if we look back at history, uh, it's interesting because Texas played in the 2003 Holiday Bowl. Um, they lost that game. But if you remember, so they played in the 2003 Holiday Bowl. And then uh, in 2004, the team made the Rose Bowl. Remember, it was a great game against Michigan where Vince Young had a really nice game. And then the year after that was the national championship win over USC. And then if you also remember... In 2007, um, Texas made the Holiday Bowl and they won that game. And then in 2008, well, uh, they made the Fiesta Bowl, BCS Bowl game. And then in 2009, they made the National Championship. So, if history repeats itself, Texas would make the Holiday Bowl. And then next year, they would make a BCS game. And then the year after that, um, which would be the 2013 season, they would make the national championship. So let's hope history repeats itself, which I definitely think it can because if you look, we have, uh, Texas had a lot of impressive young players, freshmen and sophomore this year. Um, they're, so they're bringing back a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. Um, and I think the defense will just continue to improve its second year under Manny Diaz. And the same thing with the offense, um, assuming that Brian Harson comes back as offensive coordinator. It'll be the second year under his system, and most likely, depending on who they go with, whether it's Ash or McCoy as a starter, um, either one of them will have experience coming in the next year. One of them will probably be the starter. I know they have a freshman four-star recruiter. Um, I don't know if they would go with a freshman for next year. Um, I guess it just depends how they feel about Ash and McCoy. I have a feeling that they'll go with either Ash or McCoy. Um, and then the, um, a lot of talent in terms of running backs and back, Malcolm Brown and Joe Bergeron. And then we also have the um, stud five-star recruit, Jonathan Gray, um, who's really good. So we'll have three really good running backs next year. And then Jackson Shipley and Mike Davis both come back um, at wide out. And um, they both had pretty nice years. And then, like I said, on defense, a lot of guys come back. I know I think Kenny Vaccaro, 
Um, yesterday he said he was coming back, which is big. Um, he'll be a stud at safety. He is a stud at safety, but he'll even be even better next year. And just there's, uh, there's a lot more recruits coming in on defense, and then a lot of the guys who um, had experience uh, will just continue to um, prosper for next year. Texas is secondary next year will be very impressive because they'll have Bynum and Diggs, who both had were both young and had really nice years this year, and then um, Kenny Vaccaro. As at safety, so it'll be a um, very it'll be a really good defense next year. Um, and then with the running game, will also be top notch. And then so I think next year we'll all come down to the quarterback play. And um, so we'll have to see. Hopefully, um, the coaches can figure that out who they want to go with, and hopefully whoever they go with is a really nice player. I think that this team could easily be the best team in the Big 12. I think that next year that they'll probably be the most talented team in the Big 12 because Oklahoma, he, um, nobody knows if Landry Jones is coming back. But even if he does, they lose Ryan Broyles. I mean, he was hurt towards the end of the year. They lose a lot of guys on defense. I think Texas will be better than Oklahoma next year. Oklahoma State loses Brandon Whedon and Blackman. Blackman's going to the draft. NFL draft. Um, he's a junior, but um, it's pretty much known that he's leaving. Um, so, and then TCU comes into the Big 12. Um, I mean, they're good, but I think that Texas will be better than them. Um, but, uh, so, we'll see. Um, I think that Texas definitely comes in next year with at least tied for the most talent of any team in the Big 12, and I think Texas could be one of the best teams in the nation next year. I do. Um, I think, especially if we get good quarterback play, that they can definitely be the uh, make it to a BCS bowl game next year. And you never know. We go, um, you know, like 11 and one, you never, or even 12 and 0, maybe a little national championship. Who knows? Don't want to get ahead of myself, but there's gonna be some serious talent on next year's team. Um, we just have to get that quarterback situation. Um, whether it's Ash or McCoy, um, just gotta coach them up, you know, and then they'll have the experience uh, to be ready to go for next year. So uh, I, if you're a fan of Texas like I am, it'll be a very fun team to watch in 2012 next year, um, and hopefully they can uh, do some big things. That I think a BCS bowl game is definitely. Um, a real possibility for next year's team. So let's hope so. Hook 'em horns. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Go, Texas.